Hi Virgo, how about a reading from your metal dog here? It has been a while. Let's just see what's happening with you. We've got a conjunction of the lovers of Venus and Mars. So I'm going to give you a reading from the Tarot of Sexual Magic and clarify. The Dark Tarot wants to clarify for you, Virgo, which is just always interesting. Um, sometimes Virgos, you just want to go dark, and I'm the reader for you. <laughs> And I don't mean dark, but I mean like deep and scary and risky. Okay, so we're going to start with the Roots and Wings Oracle. I'll pull the card from the top and then see what's on the bottom here. Just feels like you're crooked. Okay, so let's see. What is the is happening with you? Seasons. So we see change happening. I think of this as like the wheel, the turning towards good fortune. The description of this card is seasons represents and reminds that change is coming and is natural and inevitable. It makes me also think about how you are mutable, Virgo. That means you, you change and uh, you're with Gemini uh, in that like almost being two of you, although Gemini is the one that is most stereotypically seen as a double personality. And then on the bottom, the only card that you get is a little worker bee. So perhaps there's change coming in your 3D realm, um, in your work. We shall see. Okay. Or you're working on change. Well, when you think about the seasons, it's just inevitably you're going to, summer is going to turn to fall. We're currently having monsoon humidity and heat, and then this kind of ever hope for rain here where, I'm, where I am in Flagstaff, Arizona. Okay, so I feel a little bit slow. Perhaps that's your earthy energy. I'll try to pick it up here a little bit. Could be me. <laughs> I feel sleepy today. So we're going to pull a few cards here. First of all, we're going to ask about some kind of hope or goal that you may have, Virgo. And then we'll look at Venus and Mars and what they want to tell you. And then what the tarot wants to tell you. And then what the outcome will be should you take the advice of, of these planets and the, of the tarot. So Venus and Mars have been in difficult aspects with Saturn and with Uranus. Um, Saturn is structure, Uranus is revolution. So they've each squared or opposed um, Mars first, then Venus, and now they're going to meet up this week uh, for a time and in a conjunction, meaning when you look up at the sky, they'll be close in the sky. And I encourage you to, act, to actually look at some real astrologers uh, to understand more about the dynamics of this, if you're curious. But we'll see what the tarot wants to to bring in to your reading from those those planets, now that they've, they've learned something. Okay, so what is this hope for this goal of yours? A very practical six of pentacles, although you may look at this image and think, well, that's not very practical. Um, it's just the tarot of sexual magic. So the Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity and um, also about generosity. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. This is your wish to have something mutual or perhaps you need something or you want to, you have something that you want to give. And it's very three-dimensional, like, um, yeah, like money, gifts, home, uh, these are things that you can want in the image. She's just hanging out here, eating an apple, and this feller's coming in. Um, so we'll see what this is about. I don't think I've ever pulled that card in this deck, although I often pull the Six of Pentacles. Okay, your advice from Venus is... The Knight of Pentacles, she's saying, take it slowly, do it like the A student, have a plan, 
very Virgo. She's supporting your Virgo-ness. Um, your earthy pentacles are earth. We're staying in the earth here in the pentacles so far. Um, yeah, in the Knight of Pentacles, he's like, he's often described by tarot readers as, you know, the guy that your mom wants you to marry or date. Um, but I like, I like to think of him as the slowpoke knight. He's slow because he's thinking through the plan. He's doing it in the most responsible way. And I like that he takes his time, even though for me sometimes that slowness uh, is frustrating. Uh, Mars says, <laughs> kind of an opposite energy, the chariot. This is momentum. This is doing it fast. This is leaping forward from being uh, stagnant. Um, yeah, and so it's usually a person riding a chariot with a black and white horse. Um, this guy looks like he's giving her a little, um, he's going, he's got a nice little whip there. <laughs> I don't know. He's going to wake her up a little bit with that whip. Um, wow, it's a bit, I feel funny, like, I feel your Virgo sensitivity to, like, the explicitly sexual, maybe. Um, I feel embarrassed. Um, okay, we get your advice from the tarot is the Four of Swords. This is about going with yourself, going inward, getting alone, healing. Four of Swords is that. In this deck, it is actually a card of masturbation, but not too much, because if you do too much you, then you're going to have to apologize to the people that you're, you are excluding from that. Um, yeah, these are very, like, so this is a deck of sexual magic, but it's quite possible to, to pull a very um, virtuous, virginal, Virgo, stereotypical bunch of cards here. You are pulling fairly raw sexual energy here, Virgo. So that's cool. That's interesting. It's probably the most erotic set of cards I've pulled yet in this little series I'm doing for for this, um, this conjunction. The future, should you choose to take this advice, is a little flirtation. The Knave of Cups here. Looks like he's writing a love letter. Um... Yeah, you think there's a little image in, in the background of a couple. Um, so some kind of, either that's happening outside of him and he's, he looks upset somehow, actually. Um, yeah, I also see the cat, the little black cat in the background, which makes me actually think of the Queen of Cups, the black, I'm not Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands. And he seems quite fiery, like I'm getting some of his, of this Mars en energy coming quite, um, quite strongly through in this reading here. There's a, there's a kind of, um, yeah, so, so let's see what, as we clarify with the Dark Tarot, what else is coming up here for you, Virgo. On the bottom of the deck, you get one card. This is a card of collaboration in the three D, the Three of Pentacles. And I think this is, I really like this image. It's a sweet physical encounter. Um, it's a good match here. And the Three of Pentacles is usually kind of work collaboration. Um, since we, you're pulling the worker here um, and change at work, this kind of emphasizes that as well, so you are looking for a balancing out the Six of Pentacles. This is your wish. Venus is saying, slow down. Mars is saying, speed up. The Tarot is saying, you need to heal. And then the outcome is just like a flirty little sort of written love offer or beginning, a little flirtation. Um, wow. I'm really curious about what else is going to come up here for you. All right, I'm going to go with my instinct. It feel, feels very not Virgo-y. 
Except that there is this kind of dual duality here of your two sides of your, your Mars side, that active um, chariot energy, and then your Venus side, which is slower, more thoughtful, perfectionisty. Um, yeah. A little bit the chariot, I'm thinking of like, because he's got this, um, I'm trying to think of this particular kind of um, whip that he has. It's, you can be quite soft and gentle and it can, it can be a very um, sensual experience, even though if you're not familiar, it can be also, you know, you might have issues with, um, with that kind of play. Um, yeah, but it doesn't have to be painful. It can be very sensual here. And I see that kind of sensuality in this, maybe a little bit more to your, to your norm, Virgo. I don't know. Okay, so let's clarify this hope or goal of the Six of Pentacles, where we have this image. Man coming in on her eating this apple. Very generous. I think what the image shows us as generous is her body is quite generous. Let's actually look um, at this. I don't usually pull the book on these, but I'm just curious. Six. Oh, I'm glad I did. Boredom. The magic of the cut apple. There are loves of the past and loves of the future. There is only one love today, and it must not be neglected. Oh, that really brings a different meaning to this altogether. So we can see her, her boredom, right? And she's, yeah, hanging out on the couch, caught up in the past or caught up in the future, and ignoring the person in the present. So this is your wish. So maybe somebody's not paying attention to you right now. Um, they're caught up elsewhere. Yeah. Okay, well, let's clarify. Six of Pentacles. What is Virgo wishing for, hoping for? What is their goal? For some reason, I want to say goal for you, Virgo. The Two of Pentacles. So, balance. That sort of reiterates the Six of Pentacles, kind of balancing up thing. Um, queen of Pentacles. She is the security queen. Um, yeah, often she's kind of, she can get dependent because of her strong security needs. She's also quite nurturing, quite like Venus, supportive, nurturing, earthy queen. Yeah, and she's reminding me quite a bit of the Six of Pentacles, this bored person. It's kind of missing the action from the past or some sort of aspirational action in the future and is not paying attention to who's here right now. Um, finally, a Three of Swords. There's a loss, heartbreak here that you're dwelling on, Virgo. You're stuck in the past, dwelling on a heartbreak, which is totally normal. It takes time to heal. Um, I can see that the orientation towards the past, this card is looking towards the past, to the, um, the edge of the table here. I think on, for you, it would look like the future, but she's looking back in time. Um, and we got that from the Six of Pentacles. Even though I usually think of the Six of Cups as being nostalgic, the Six of Pentacles here in this deck is boredom. Is boredom because you don't want to be where you are. Um, it looks like some heartache is haunting you from the past. You want to be elsewhere. Okay, Venus says, take it easy, the slow poke night. Um, carrying, what is he giving her? Am I going to read all of these? Why not? I don't think I have a lot of people um, who are Virgos watch my channel here. 
Okay, the queen, or I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles. Discontent, again. Boredom, discontent. The magic of the green lemon. Waiting allows the desired fruit to ripen, while haste makes every chalice bitter. So he's offering her a green piece of fruit, meaning it is not ripe, so it's worth waiting for. Uh, that's what Venus wants you to know. Definitely the Slowpoke Knight. Venus wants, says, perhaps you are worth waiting for, or healing is worth waiting for, because we we do have the Four of Swords. The Tarot is telling you about that. Um, we'll get to that card here, but there's a sense of taking the time to heal some hurt from the past. Okay, let's clarify this. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Cups. So she is the emotionally receptive, deep queen. She's good at talking about her feelings. Um, very Venus. The Ace of Pentacles. This is a... Am I not showing you these? I don't know why. Okay. So there's the Ace of Pentacles. There's the... Sorry, the Queen of Cups. And uh, she's like opening her, bearing her chest. I feel like she's opening her heart. There's a lot of that actually like, you know, if we don't get too distracted by the breasts, if we can see that these are bare chests, that, that these are people who are bearing their heart. Um, so perhaps you have like some, this is repeated imagery here of like opening your heart. Um, the Queen of Cups speaks from her heart so there it's it may be that you are waiting for that or you're waiting to do that um, in some way then we see a new beginning this is a new home a new job um, this is change for sure and since you got the seasons and the worker you know it's the most obvious would be that change is coming in the realm of work could be also in the realm of home but it's a 3D, uh, new beginning in the real world coming in for you. Okay. And the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, again, I see that, that open chest, but I also see that there, I mean, this Five of Swords is a card of self-harm. That's, others call it like the headache card. It's like doing something you're doing something that causes you to question whether you did it in the right way um and that makes me think about like how the knight of pentacles said don't eat the green fruit wait um wait wait to open up wait to bury your heart um don't or maybe this is the side of you that can really go inward and um, hide your heart is hurting you. Oh. We'll see more. We will see more. Trust me, it will emerge as this unfolds. I'm still feeling my way around through what's happening with you, Virgo. Okay, so now we get Chariot from Mars. This is opposite energy of the Knight of Pentacles. This is go for it energy. This is um, very much about reaching out in the physical world for what you want. And it's also a card of cancer. So it could be that you have cancer in your sign, in your chart, I mean, or someone in your life is a cancer. Okay. Then there is temperance. <laughs> okay, temperance is, you know, really taking your time, waiting for the right balance, divine guidance. She's transparent. Then there is the Eight of Cups. This is about going on a spiritual 
journey that it takes you out of unfulfillment into fulfillment. Sort of a magical, I feel like Mars wants to send you off on a different kind of journey. It's very spiritual. It's very ethereal, magical, whereas Venus is kind of talking to you about pain, regret, darkness. Like, because you are looking at this Three of Swords, Venus is kind of in alignment with where you are in this dilemma about opening up your heart, whereas Mars is really taking you on what I feel is a spiritual pursuit. Um, it's like, get on the chariot and go. Let's see what else what the third card is here for you. A five of cups. Yeah, five of cups definitely reiterates this. So you have two fives here, a five of swords under Venus and a five of cups under Mars. Five of cups, because it's associated with Scorpio um, and with Mars, which is one of the rulers of Scorpio along with Pluto, the Five of Cups is really a passageway. Fives are passages from loss into the new beginning. And I do feel like Mars is a little bit done with you dwelling on what is lost and is pushing you forward. And this kind of comes um, in alignment with your wish, which seems quite dual to me. Like it's either the past or the future, but you're kind of missing out on the present. And this is a tension between Mars and Venus here in this reading as well. Let's see what else we can learn when we look at what the tarot wants you to know, which is a four of swords, right? This is cautioning you against spending too much time pleasing yourself. Um, and then you're going to have to make amends for being that self-centered. Uh, four of swords generally is about, you know, what the advice would be, Go be by yourself and shelter yourself and heal yourself. This particular four of swords says there's, you can go too far with this. So let's see what we can add to that. That is the seven of swords. Okay, well, you know, it's just a card that's turned backwards in the stick, the seven of swords. It's talking about dishonesty and being a, you know, lack of integrity or needing to have integrity okay four of swords is clarified by the two of wands a very different outward powerful exertion of will this is a place of envisioning the world after the apocalypse this is in alignment with what i think mars wants you to consider as your it's cool like we're getting competing advice and that makes so much sense with a mutable sign that Venus is like, um, open your heart. And Mars is like, move on. Uh, the tarot agrees with Mars. It's time to move on and envision the, the new day here. Um, they both have something important to hear. And we will find clarity in the end. A seven of pentacles here clarifying four of swords. So the seven of pentacles is about doing work, you put in the work, and we see here that there's work around this. It doesn't have to be like your job. It can also be like your spiritual work, like that Mars is sending you to do some spiritual work. Um, Seven of Pentacles, typically you plant seeds and you watch them grow, and you're patient like the Knight of Pentacles um, because it takes time for the, the fruit of your labor to to be produced from that seed. It takes an entire season for something to, and then here we have the seasons, to ripe, ripen, come to fruition. I, I'm really seeing how she, because we just got the Seven of Swords, maybe she is transparent. Um, this seems to go with temperance of being transparent. Or invisible, but I think we can see through her. It's not that you're not important, but maybe you, your inner self, like your material body, is less important than you've been 
acting. If there's a real clear message of like, get out of self and, and go forward on an outward journey towards the new, you know, get off whatever you've lost and move towards the future. This being, and it's talking about being honest and having integrity, but also not just your, you are, are transparent, you're invisible. So like, it just what I'm getting is it means you're less important than you've been making yourself, which is a good clarification for this Four of Swords, where if you do too much of self pleasing, then you're going to end up needing to apologize to those that you're neglecting while you take care of your own yourself. And finally, a Seven of Cups. So you're, you've been doing, you've been projecting a lot on the world. So Seven of Cups is like you have choices on a, on a more, on a super basic level. Seven of Cups is I have all these choices. What do I choose? You, you have trouble choosing perhaps. You also have a Two of Wands here, which can be about this or this. Um, and I think you have a Two of Pentacles. Yep, you have the kind of this or... This or this, which I'm experiencing as your mutability and also as this tension between Mars and Venus. So the Seven of Cups has multiple choices, more than two, seven. Uh, which cup do I take? Which emotional decision do I, do I make? Um, it, but it's also very much about projecting and illusion. Um, and I see this woman and and she's got this mask that you're projecting onto her, whoever this is. This is I think this is somebody else. Um, you, there's like this dual feeling of you looking, of you seeing somebody, you seeing, you put, putting that mask that you wear onto somebody else. So there's a kind of, um, Yeah, you need to get out of you. You need to quit blaming and regretting. And you've you've been you've had a heartbreak, which you which caused you to feel betrayed. Um, but then Venus says you might want to look at at Five of Swords. You might want to look at the fact that there's self harm that you did something that is causing this regret that we see then picked up under Mars with the Five of Cups, which is, okay, well, you can focus on what you lost, the three that you lost, the three cups that are, are spilled, or you can turn forward, um, chariot, go forward, get out of the stagnation and go forward. Then the tarot says, when you look out at the world um, and away from yourself, you're still having a problem of projection like it's almost like you're projecting yourself onto the world and it's really really hard to take responsibility and to move forward uh, if you're doing this uh, if you're stuck it means and that's perhaps why we're getting this little worker bee is like you have some work to do it seems very physical like this is a very physical reading so it could be a health your body, um, something around your 3D embodied world, home, job, earth. Uh, yeah. And it's not just because of the decks I chose with all these naked people. <laughs> it has to do with, because there's also, you're getting I, transparent people, which are pointing me to think about maybe thinking less of yourself, less of your body, your needs, your kind of basic, right, your pentacle, queen of pentacle needs, and more about something outside of you. And it feels almost like environmental, like earth, big, it feels big. Um, for various cards are giving me that sense. 
Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like your wish for security from another broken heart, maybe. Your Queen of Pentacles desire to be protected, really actually from, but she usually wants a king to protect her, um, in my understanding. She comes through for me as like the most hetero of the queens. Um, even if she were with another woman, it would be a protector woman. It would be like somebody that presents as, as a Marsh, Mars warrior protector type. Um, yeah. And you're, you are earth sign. So queen of pentacles is, is a good Virgo card for Virgo. Um, Yeah. Mars is really interestingly releasing you from protection and saying, I mean, I see this eight of cups, like you're being called forward with the chariot, but also look at you powerful with wings on the edge here, ready to leap out into this divinely supported, very magical, mystical, spiritual journey um, away from grief, but perhaps like informed by your grief, if you're feeling that. Okay. And the future here is just this little immature, young beginning, heartfelt beginning, the knave of cups or page of cups here, just a little light, fun, emotional, future. So let's see. You do seem to be taking all the 3D so seriously. <laughs> so lighten up. Okay, the fool. Yeah, lighten up indeed. This is you in the future, leaping out on a new journey. It seems like if you take the advice that Mars offers you of the chariot of like move forward, you obviously you start a new journey. But if you take Venus's advice on your way to this journey that you also get to look at your loss, your um, take responsibility for your grief. Uh, Five of the Swords tells me that. Um, and, and then as you set out on this new journey, you bring this Ace of Pentacles, um, but it's just a fool's journey that is actually informed by what Venus advises, which is like actually take the time, Slowpoke Knight, Knight of Pentacles, to look at um, your heart, Queen of, Queen of Cups. Um, I, f I have like this strong disagreement with you, Virgo, when I'm, as I'm doing this reading, like I feel like a part of what's coming in here is the cards, the planets, that the cards from each of the planets are Venus is with you on whatever you're dwelling on it seems like you're in pain and you're dwelling there you're feeling your feelings Mars is like come on let's go just forward get over it and the tarot agrees that your body your 3d this is less important than you're making it um so heal, but don't take too long as you do that. And then in the future, we see you, fool, starting out a new journey. The lovers, um, kind of a creepy lovers. Um, <laughs> unless you're into, you know, loving those kinds of monsters. Um, but I think it's a great card for how scary the lovers is because when you meet your perfect match um, you can choose to be afraid a lot of people actually don't choose their person they choose to be afraid and to opt out of the risk of like being bonded on all levels emotional spiritual and physical and so that is why in this lovers which is a a six, 
which is a, a card I think of moving forward from one idea to another. You have the Six of Pentacles here as well. So then, yeah, so this true love, this soulmate, it's like the person that you get to be your true self with, um, you can be afraid to choose that person. Um, and let's see here, Ace of Wands. This is a great new passionate beginning. It is hope as well. Um, so you're being struck with hope. Yeah, I guess I want to say that your security needs, your earthy 3D attachments, and this is, I'm your queer Scorpio reader, right? Like, I'm not like you. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get security as a, as a motivation. Um, I feel fear, but I, I it's not the basis for my decision making so i'm meeting you here virgo in this reading as somebody who is more practical more security more conservative more um, perfectionist -y, much more about the real world than i really care to be um, the cards like me want to push you um, forward in a heart-based passionate way where that doesn't seem to be about all your earthly needs your desire your your me 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 it's much more about something bigger something outside of you and i see this through these this is venus i mean this is mars advice of temperance of like finding a right mix it's very emotional watery um and there's a kind of apocalypse and then envisioning the world after the apocalypse that the tarot is bringing forward to you. And to quit looking backwards and projecting um, the monster, you know, don't be afraid of saying yes to whatever. And I do see you in the future, like getting struck with inspiration and this feels like a yes to me. So does the fool, right? So like here you are in the seven of cups with that mask that you're projecting onto others. And then here you are as the fool taking it off and you're just looking at it like, you don't scare me. And that is the fool. The fool, others may be concerned, but the fool's like, I'm not afraid. I am leaping off on this new inspiration. Um, so it looks like big change is being encouraged by the cards. Uh, and your, I feel, um, I feel frustrated with you. And no, it's nothing personal. It's just like the feeling, the energy of this reading. Maybe you're frustrated um, I'm, perhaps I'm misinterpreting you. Um, I always feel like I know Virgos really well because I've spent most of my romantic history and many of my friendships with Virgo people. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong about you. You know who you are. You know what matters. It looks like move on is uh, in some way... There's a new journey for you to take if you could quit dwelling on the past. Um, as, as painful and it feels real, like the regret is here, the um, and two fives are here, uh, as is the three of swords. So it looks painful, but there's twos and ones. So you're kind of in, the, in a nave. So you're kind of like getting to be young and um, open emotionally open and foolish and yeah so that on the bottom of this deck we get a three of cups this is yeah there's a couple so both of the bottom of the decks have threes so three of cups is like friendship it can be reconciliation this could be and then this is like building with 
well with another, like physically in the 3D. Um, this is emotional, this is the 3D world. Um, so if you are have you have some kind of hope of reconciliation, that is here. That may be why you're looking to the past a lot. Mars says, move on. Venus says, move on. She's got you, given you an ace of pentacles. Um, take responsibility for five of swords. It's really coming through repeatedly, and maybe I've said it 20 times already, but own your part in whatever happened and from there find the momentum to move on um here feel your feelings queen of cups this is from venus but move forward to this new 3d this new world really and um take responsibility for how you went about things and how that hurt you yeah, and if you need to do some work here, that worker bee here says to me, to change, you may need to do some work of some kind. And you get to be free, you get to be the fool, you get to have an ace of wands, a passionate new beginning, you get to envision a new world, you get to perhaps be of service in the world, um, of the earth in particular, I, I'm getting because we have seasons and temperance and um, there's something else here that made me think that. Eight of Cups it just feels very much like going into the mountains. Um, it's very watery, earthy imagery. Away from this very urban grief that you have, this 3D grief into the energetic, spiritual encounter with your planet somehow. You seem like very powerful and very passionate in the future with great clarity. Great clarity as well as a light heart. Writing. It shows you writing. Okay. That is your reading, Virgo. Wow. Sorry that I have a different way of going about things and if I seem too critical of you, um, being more earthy and slow and security based than I value. Um, but you know, we're all different. We all have our different journeys and, um, Venus is signing off on you taking your time, even as Mars and I am Scorpio under Mars. Like we want to whip you forward a little bit here faster than you're inclined to go. You'll get there no matter what I see you getting there on your new journey whichever route you take the slow one or the quick one i think you have a choice and that is why the lovers is here in the future you choose between venus and mars advice either way both all right have a great day